Like they, like, they started out not knowing jack shit about game design, and towards the end they finally grasped some fundamentals. This just ain't that bad, and the jumping doesn't seem as bad as it was before, if that's even possible. I mean, I know for a fact it will improve! SPOILER! No, I'll spare you the spoiler. But, at the same time, see what I mean? You couldn't do that earlier on. It'd be fucking impossible. Try doing that news. It's just, it's friggin' impossible. There's something about the difference in the gravity compared to how you're landing here versus before that actually works versus there where it didn't work. Uh, I mean, this is okay, though. It's pedestrian at best. All I'm doing is jumping over shit. But you know what? I've set it out now. I'm gonna fucking beat this. I'm gonna beat at least a couple of games in this fucking cart. Or maybe just two. I don't know. I could probably be- whoa! You could barely see the fucking skeleton! You gotta look real close though, but you can't really see it because the background is all white and gray. You may notice I'm kind of positioning myself at points so I can see if something's coming from behind like that. That every time those fuckers show up, it's pure white all over the place. I'd say it's racist, but it's fucking monsters in a graveyard, so it can't really be racist. Unless furries are now having racial wars. Yeah, I've run out of fucking official humor at this point, so, uh... I don't know. SPACE LOBSTER! Yeah, I'm, I'm officially dry at this point. I got nothing. So I'm just gonna keep leaping over the monsters and trying to make some colorful commentary. But it's, yeah, it's the same looping music, it's the same looping backgrounds. Nothing has really fucking changed, to be honest here. It's just getting a little bit more difficult to make the jumps. And again, the game paused for no reason. Whoa! Okay, here's a nice change. The ground is green. Huzzah! Maybe I'm at the. Maybe I'm nearing the end here. Because usually, when you see a big graphical change, it's like motherfucker, man. What are those things? They look nothing like anything else. These are lizard men, obviously. The other guys are werewolves. I mean, you can tell what everything is. You look like Frankenstein, but those things don't look like anything. They look like <laughs> sea monsters. <laughs> Get it? Because they're shaped like C's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up! You do a better joke! I dare you! What? Seriously, does that not look like a fucking walking, talking C to you? It does to me! That's for goddamn sure. And they come out at the most fanatic and fucking annoying moments. Like right then. Now, this is starting to get really difficult. I can only take one more hit and then I'm dead. So I have to make this count for all it's worth. LEAP! You fucking asshole. Shit. No more lives. Leap for faith! Leap for courage. Leap for heart, dammit! You bastard. Every time I try to encourage the characters in this game, they just fuck up. They do whatever the hell they goddamn fucking please. It's disgusting. It's like they have a mind of their own or some shit. For Christ's sake, man. It's just the same thing endlessly. Why do I not have a weapon? This would have been so fucking cool with weapons, because then I could have just killed everything that moved. And with some de well, kinda decent enough jumping, it wouldn't have been so bad. And it's obviously not fucking impossible, I'm doing it. And I'm not I'm not trying all that hard. Well, I wasn't up until now, but I mean I'm really okay now I'm trying hard. When you gotta do those back jumps, you're definitely in the zone. Who went to the Action 52 zone? Yeah, I keep butchering music. That's when you know you're running low on any kind of commentary worth listening to when you start singing. When it's like fucking the humming hour, that's when you know you've, you're, you're officially done. You're scraping the bottom of the fucking barrel. And could this fucking end? Jesus Christ! <laughs> And I beat it! I'd say huzzah, but I've abused that. But, I mean, come on, couldn't they have at least put a game over screen or something? Nothing. Oh, hooray. Another fucking shooter. I've seen so many of these at this point, I can't stand them. I'm done. No more fucking space shooters, that's it. Game fucking over. As soon as I get a chance to fucking select. Start and select. That's how you exit games in this game. Well, it's not that bad. It functionally works, but goddamn, I'm sick of space shooters! Manchester, what the fuck is the. Oh, this stupid game. Every time you jump, you're gonna hear that noise. 
He also have the ability to punch fireballs. Yeah, that guy's badass. It's like musically inclined or some shit. I don't. I don't know. You also freeze midair. You have to listen to that sound every fucking time you jump. Get ready for it. It will drive you insane. Or you'll die. And don't ask you what that noise was just now. I don't know. I don't know, and I don't want to know. There are some mysteries about Acts 52 I simply do not want to know, and nobody should ever find out about. Like I said, this game has a sordid history. Partly just that it was a marketing ploy to sell toys. What toys could you possibly sell based on this pile of horse shit? Uh, we'll find out soon enough. IF I don't lose my sanity, because I'm starting to seriously lose all track of space and time at this point. And I'm seriously sick of this fucking game. And it's not the fucking game, it's the goddamn sound effect I'm being reduced to listen to every 45 sec- every, every fucking millisecond when you jump. I mean, like, what the fuck? And yeah, it paused itself. AGAIN! Boss. Yo, I'm the boss. Like a boss. Yeah, this is not boss. This is not boss in the slightest. So I call lies and Decepticons again! And this is like... fucking impossible. Hurrah! I made it! How I made it is beyond my wildest fucking imagination, but I made it, motherfucker. Oh, come on! I was so past that. That was bullshit. What the fuck? Why is it so low? And what in the hell? Ugh. Fuck this shit! Dan dead. Okay, this one I know. Take your penis... <laughs> Take your penis-shaped ant-looking thingy and shoot at multicolored ant-looking penal things. Now, the funny thing about this game over all the other ones is that the enemies, if they progress to the bottom of the screen, there is absolutely no way to kill them. So this game isn't just flawed in terms of everything we've seen, this game is literally unplayable if you let them advance too far. And there's no way to kill them if they get low. I ain't fucking around. There's literally no way around it. You're dead. I'll try to see if I can demonstrate that. Demons. This game has got me literally speaking in slurs and falling apart. It's driving me insane. My mind is officially going at this point. So let's see if I can get the den dance to dance to my tune and come down here. Okay, there he is. He's down there now. There's no way to kill him, and he'll fire from both sides. At that point, you fucked. Time. Oh no, Hambo first. This is a fun one. Nearly fucking impossible, especially if you die. It's got that same shitty jumping mechanic. Here's the fucked up thing one life. You got one fucking life to do this. Avoid every fucking thing. Try to collect some shit, I don't know what it does, and get to that door. I assume. I've never beaten level one of this fucking game, and believe me, I've tried. But every time I spawn in, the second time around the bend, there's just way too much stuff, and the jumping mechanics are fucking broken! Okay. Time warp. Does anybody remember Tiny Toon Adventures? How there was this one fucking wacko duck character thingamabob? Dodo? No way, he was a dodo. What am I talking about? Well, you remember how he was in that whacked out world that made no fucking sense whatsoever? I think he made this game. It makes no sense. And why every time you die does it say time? Time for what? Time to get raped! Time to go to bed? Time for sex? Time for what?